Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Mary the Farm Girl. Today I am giving you 12 simple tips on how you can make your first million growing strawberries on half an acre piece of land. I will talk about what you need, the fertilizer application methods or the feeding program for the strawberries, the expected yields and how much you can make per season. So stick around for that. I know you value your success therefore kindly 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 subscribe and join us in this farming business growth journey tip number one prayers and god yes i said it pray and put god first in your farm if i am praying for my videos to get subscribers and views whom are you not to pray for your farm to be productive prayers and god are the first thing that you need for your strawberry farm to be productive Tip number two, start with quality seedlings. You can either get the seedlings in form of uh, runners or you can get them in form of splits. So you get the seedlings from reliable sources. These are going to help you grow your farming uh, business in a better way. Tip number two, choose the right variety according to your location. So there are multiple varieties that you can grow in Kenyan environment first one being Chandler variety there is also the Japanese giant there is also another one called San Andreas and there is the one called Harmony so you can choose from these four varieties and they are going to give you uh, quality fruits high yields the big sized uh, fruits so they are going to help you in the marketing process tip number three how to prepare your land well make beds one meters wide six inches high mix the soil with manure at the rate of one bucket per one meter manure should be one bucket cow goat or sheep manure and one bucket chicken manure make sure the manure is mature and well decomposed that is it does not have any molds whitish in color because they will introduce diseases in your strawberry farm Cover with a mulching paper. If not, use disease-free grass. This will help uh, to keep off pests, help the strawberries retain high moisture, optimum temperatures of 22 to 28 degrees Celsius, control weeds, and keep your fruits clean. You should not wash your strawberries uh, before taking them to the market. Therefore, you should use the mulching paper and the grass to keep them clean. The best PVC paper should be 1.6 meters wide to cover and anchor the entire bed. That is why you should be able to stick it in or to cover the bed and you stick it with it so that the bed does not have areas to grow weeds. The paper should be 6 microns. Separate the beds 50 meters apart. Make holes on the beds 30 by 30 centimeters to separate one strawberries from the other. Tip number four, planting. Plant your strawberries leaving the crown part above the ground. You should not bury it because it is the heart of the strawberry plant and if you bury it, the strawberry will die. When planting, use fertilizers high in phosphorus or containing seaweed extractions. This will encourage root development and create a strong foundation for your strawberries. Remember, after planting, pluck off all flowers and runners for the first two months. This will help the strawberry plant to use the energy to generate more daughters, daughter plants, otherwise known as splits, which will lead to more strawberry production in the long run. Remember, you're going to be growing the strawberries for three years and therefore you want to keep the daughters and you want them to be as healthy as possible. So during the first two months, do not allow your plant to remove any runners or flowers. Two weeks after planting, apply fertilizers with high amounts of nitrogen. Do you know the importance of using nitrogen in your strawberries? Well, this is the vegetative stage, that is, two weeks after planting your strawberries. The nitrogen will accelerate the rate of daughter plant development. 
you should also add fluvic and humic acids to improve the rate at which strawberry plants absorb major nutrients like phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium. During the vegetative growth, the strawberries require to have time to create a good canopy. The canopy, when mature, should be at least 75%. Therefore, the 30 centimeters that you're going to leave when you are going to create your holes, it should be 75% occupied during the, the first two months. You can use products like Africelp and Harmony from CKL and the products are organic. You should repeat the process, the nitrogen and the fluvic and humic acids application every two weeks for the first two months after planting. During the third month, you should allow the strawberry plants to flower and you should apply fertilizers high in calcium. The fertilizers with fulvic and humic acids can be applied along with the calcium and potassium filled fertilizers. You should allow other trace nutrients like manganese, magnesium, iron and boron. So buy fertilizers with these trace nutrients. They will improve the fruit quality. You will be having good big sized fruits. They will reduce the flowers from dropping off, especially if you are going to be planting your strawberries on the open field. And they will also increase and boost the nutrient intake. This will help to avoid flower abortion. In the long run, you're going to have more strawberries to harvest which is what you need to make your first million in the long run, right? Good. Tip number five. You should continue using the fluvic and humic fertilizer application every three weeks now for the entire pl strawberry plant existence. So for the entire three years, after the three months, the first three months, you apply the fluvic and humic fertilizers every three weeks then you should continue the process until the plant is three years old tip number six plant the strawberries in a place they will get at least six hours of direct sunlight what does this mean strawberries thrive better in hot and relatively warm climates therefore sunshine increases the berries sweetness so if you want your strawberries to be sweet, if you want the person that you're going to sell to to ask for more strawberries from you, make sure that you allow their strawberries to have sunlight at least six hours in a day. If you cannot be able to get the sunlight, for example, in places that are relatively cold, you can use or you can plant your strawberries in a greenhouse. This will provide the same effects. Tip number seven. You should prune your strawberries regularly by removing excess, deceased, and old leaves. Remove the remaining part of the strawberry stalk left after harvesting. You know, after harvesting, you harvest your strawberries with three quarter of the stalk. So the remaining part, you should remove it so that you can keep your strawberry plants clean. Pruning will increase the air circulation and help control some pests. You know, this Spidermites, the aphids, they will not be having anywhere to thrive. So make sure that you remove that. Tip number eight, strawberry diseases. The major diseases include botrytis and anthracnose. Yes, anthracnose. You can control by spraying organic fungicides. The diseases happen mainly during the cold seasons and due to have overhead irrigation. So if you're using a horse pipe, if you're using a rain horse, those ones are going to cause your strawberries to have diseases, the blight, the botrytis and anthracnose. So to avoid that, you should use drip lines to irrigate your strawberries. However, you can use the overhead irrigation method, especially for those people in the, in the hot climate, but you should do it before 4 p.m. Remember, the sun is usually hot from around 10 to around 4 p.m. So between that time, you can use your overhead irrigation. Then after 4 p.m., do not 
uh, irrigate through the hose pipe or the overhead irrigation because the plants are going to retain the water. The reason you're doing it before 4 p.m. is because the sun is going now to burn or to evaporate the water from your leaves during this period. Then by the time it is evening and cold again, your plants are good to go and they have no risk to the anthracnose and botrytis diseases. Tip number nine, pests affecting the strawberries. Thrips, aphids, spider mites, grubs, and birds. Thrips cause the strawberries to have deformed fruits and they fail to, to ripen. The aphids, they suck the strawberry plant sap. The strawberry plant sap is like the blood in the case of human beings. So they suck the sap and then they cause the strawberry not to fruit or flower accordingly. Identify them as tiny insects underneath the strawberry plants. They appear in numbers. So you will find them like in numbers, in large numbers, and they may be green, bluish, and black in color. Spider mites form webs on the strawberry leaves, so they are usually very, very tiny to see with naked eyes, but the webs will tell you that there are spider mites in your strawberries. Another nuisance pest is the grub. Grub worms are very, very stubborn because they come with manure. They come with manure and therefore when you are applying your manure and covering it with a mulching paper, you will not identify the grubs because they are usually in the first stages of development. So, what do they do to your strawberries? The grubs are going to be eating the strawberry roots and you're going to be thinking, huh, my strawberries have nematodes. No. Before you think of nematodes, especially if you had tested your soil, think about the grub worms. So they will consume the strawberry roots and then the strawberry will start to die. So when you start identifying that your strawberries are withering, check out for grub worms. You can control the grub worms by drenching your soil with insecticides like a chook from Organics Limited and it is an organic product. For birds, you can use a bird net. If you don't have resources to do a bird net, you can buy red paint and then you paint some stones. You place them on the ground near the strawberry plants in strategic positions such that the, the birds are going to identify them. Then when they come and peck the stones and they find out they are hurting, then they might be scared away. Otherwise, a bird net is the best option. Tip number 10. You should spray your insecticides, fungicides and fertilizers, foliar fertilizers, early in the morning or late in the evening. You should not spray when it is super hot because you might scorch the strawberries leaves, leaving them to die, which is not what we want. Remember, we are looking for our first million from the half an acre piece of land. Therefore, Spray your plants or your strawberries when the sun goes down. Tip number 11. Harvest daily to encourage more strawberries, flowers and fruit to form. Harvest your strawberries when they are three quarter ripe because they might lose their taste if you harvest earlier than that. Tip number 12. Expected yields and how much you can make in half an acre piece of land. I know you're waiting for this information. Guess what? If you follow this entire procedure and you ensure that you follow it to the letter, you will harvest 45,000 kilograms. Yay! Drum roll! Per season. If you sell your strawberries for at least 100 shillings, and you have harvested 45,000 kilograms in an entire season, it's not just one month, in an entire season, then you are going to be making 4,500,000 Kenyan shillings. This is the gross income. Drum bells! Yay! 4,500,000 Kenya shillings in your entire season. This is three years. Are we together? And remember, it is not coming easy. 
it is after following the procedure that I have given you today. So if you want to plant strawberries and you want to make your first million in the first year, make sure you have half an acre piece of land, you have water, you have money to buy the fungicides, pesticides and the fertilizers you apply according to the procedure i have given you today you are going to be making your first million in the first year and in the third three years you're going to be making four million five hundred thousand shillings kenyan shillings so that is what i had for you today guys remember that you can make money from growing foods or from agribusiness if you do it well remember to subscribe like share and uh, comment below let me know what you have been doing with your farm let me know if you have a farm you can do strawberries and by the way remember that the four million five hundred thousand kenyan shillings is the gross income do not come killing me telling me mary i didn't find that money no that is the gross income. So you have to remove your expenses, your transport, the money you used for water, the money you used for all other things. So the 4 million is just the gross profit. The net profit will depend on your farm, the labor, whether you are buying water or you're relying on a natural source and whether you're going to be using a lot of fertilizers in your farm. So guys, until next time, subscribe, like, share, comment. In the next video, I will be speaking about the pests and the diseases. So stick around for that so that you can understand it better. Until next time, bye-bye.